Hello techies, welcome back to the channel. My name is Krishna and I am a big data ETL data warehouse and BI tester. So uh, we are solving SQL and there are 200 plus SQL questions that we are going to solve in this series. We have I have already uploaded around four videos and this will be the part four of this series and please stay tuned i am very excited to solve a little more questions a lot more questions and a lot of theoretical points and a lot of concepts to cover in this series so let's get started with the video so let's go to the screen we have already solved 42 questions and around 41 questions we are going to start with 42nd question and uh, let's see what do we have before i start let me give you some con context on which all tables so we are using emp table which looks like this and we are also using the department table which looks like this with only four records so these two are the tables that we are currently working on so i have connected to oracle system here if you can see i have connected to oracle database and then i'm solving these queries so let's get started with 42nd question display department numbers and total number of employees working in each department so select department number from emp they want uh, the total number of employees working in that department so let me do count of star from EMT group by DEPT number so if you do this every department you can see here department 10 has 3 employees department 20 has 5 and department 30 has 6 so if you want to verify it you can do it so if I do this I can sort it ascending so here I see department 10 there are 3 and department 20 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 5 so as we saw in the query also in department 10 3 and department 25 so exactly we need to use the group by clause the group by clause is basically group that particular on since i have written department number on department number it will group according to the department number so here is where a new concept of group by clause comes in where we have to use group by clause so group by clause can be used with any column which has multiple occurrence in that particular table so this is a new concept of group by clause where we are using so let's go to the next question display the various jobs and total number of employees within the job so please go ahead and try to write this query on your own from emp and then group by job so for each job clerk has four salesman has four resident one and manager three analyst two so in clerk there are four employees who are working as club clerk so that's why we have this group by clause so please play around with group by clause and you will learn a lot so i will tell you in details this this count is an aggregate function there are multiple aggregate functions like max min and uh, average count these are some of the aggregate functions which is working like it is aggregating so when i say group by group by job so for that particular job it is counting the number of employees working in that particular job so that's why you use group by clause and then you have aggregate functions so please read more about these aggregate functions if you want a, a special video on aggregate functions do let me know i will create a special video for aggregate functions so we are using count in this uh, query number of employees within each job okay display department number and total salary for each department total salary so what i will do is select department number sum of sal from emp group by department number so if you see department 10 
the total salary which is being paid is 8750 and for department 20 it is 10875 for 30 it is 9400 so what they are asking is the total salary for each department means each department how much money they are spending in salary so that is what they are asking so in other sense this is how the question will be so sometimes they will be very straight sometimes they may twist the question so as to confuse you but you make sure you connect the question with respect to sql and which all function to use which clause to use so as you practice as we go ahead start practicing then you will get a hand of it on how to solve these questions display the department number and max cell from each department so there is already a max aggregate function so select the ept number so in each department i want the max of cell from emp where no group group by the ept number so each department i am getting the maximum salary so let's find out select star from emp order by order by department department so let's add it so department 10 looking at the maximum salary maximum salary is for department 10 is 5000 for department 20 max salary is 3000 i guess yeah so let's see what is the max of sal yes for department 5000 department 23000 yes we are looking for the maximum salary and not the sum so this is how you will do display the various jobs and total salary for each job so similarly it is select job from sum total salary na yes sum of sal sal is from emp group by job for each job we want the total salary so clerk all the clerks are being paid around 4150 and salesmen are 5000 or whatever it is the numbers so for each job this is the total number of salary which is being paid display the various jobs and max salary for each job various jobs select job comma max salary right max of sal from emp emp group by job every job they want the max salary so clerk has higher salary 1300 so this is how it is you have to group by that particular uh, constraint or that particular column and group by that and find apply any aggregate functions so mostly aggregate functions are used when you are using group by clause most of the aggregate functions you are using when you are using group by clause so just be careful when you are solving questions and if you get an error don't uh, complain try to find the actual reason why is it failing and why is it giving this error so that this is how you will be learning uh, display the department number with more than 3 employees in each department okay select dpt number comma count of yeah from emp group by mm -hmm. group by department number dpt number here i will use one more clause which is called as having clause having count of mp number which is the second choice which i have made in this see this is department number and count of department number well count of mp number is greater than 3 so if you see uh, it shows those department number where total number of employees is more than 3 so in department 20 there are 5 employees in department 30 there are 6 employees that's why it's showing this output display the various jobs along with total salary for each jobs where total salary is greater than 40000 okay select job comma mm, sum of sal from emp group by job having sum of sal greater than 40000 there are none let me make it to 4000 yeah 
so here they have given 40000 let i'm changing question to 4000 why because 40000 obviously even if you add we saw in the previous question that when you sum even for that particular job if you sum the uh, answer is going to come 5000 8000 10000 so we cannot be getting anything more than uh, 10000 then we are expecting a 40000 there will not be any so if i predict so the query is correct but there will not be any output because that doesn't satisfy the condition we have given so let me make it 4000 to get some output so he like clerk these are the people who are getting and this is according to their job these are the total salary that they are getting and which is higher which is more than 4000 so here i introduced a uh, one more clause of having clause but having clause will always be used after the group by clause okay but it's not dependent that if you are using having clause it's mandatory to use group by clause there is no mandatory condition but having clause cannot be used before group by clause and group by clause cannot be used before where clause so the hierarchy is we use where clause first and then we use group by clause and then we use having clause all the three can be independently used but the hierarchy should not be break broken so you cannot use where clause after having clause it will throw an error okay you please try this activity and then you will uh, realize what is the problem and how what kind of error you are getting so let's play around with that and find out uh, please do this activity uh, play around with where clause group by clause or having clause these three clause you have learned please play around with these three clause and please if you have any questions please comment in and if you learned something new you if you found a error and then you were able to solve this uh, then please come and comment in this video and i'll be glad to take your name and <laughs> also would like to know how you are practicing sql and if time allows i will try to help you also okay so let's go to the next question display the various jobs along with total number of employees in each job the output should contain only those jobs which with more than 3 employees okay that isn't tough count of emp from emp group by job having then three employees yes these are the clerk and salesman these are the jobs where on the total number of employees working in that particular job is higher than three this is the name and employees who earns highest salary so let's stop here why because we have come across we group by and having clause is over and we are going to start sub queries so let's continue this video continue from 51st question after we learn one more So we have learned group by and having clause. Fifty first question needs uh, sub queries. So I will start with sub queries from fifty first question. So please stay tuned if you are liking this video and enjoying how you are learning SQL and if you are enjoying the activity and if you are learning a lot from these videos, please give a thumbs up for this video and put in your comments if you want more SQL questions to come faster. Please comment SQL in this video. And if you have not seen my video Hindi video, the Hindi SQL video is in the description. description box i have put the link so please uh, watch that hindi hindi video where i have solved the question in hindi explained all the concepts in hindi uh, that is there in my hindi channel please subscribe to that channel and also watch the video from that channel and uh, i have solved sql in a very amazing way and in a fun loving way in that particular video in hindi so please watch that video and you will enjoy it so let thank you for watching the video please like share and subscribe to this channel and see you next week bye bye